What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Gaming. Today we're taking a look at the Top 5 Video Game Ripoffs. If we could get 1000 likes on this video, that would be amazing. But with that said, let's get into it. Number 5. Pokeballs Training Just one glance at this game tells you that it's a very weird ripoff of Pokemon Go. There are plenty of them out there, but this one definitely stands out. As all of the Pokemon are basically nightmare fuel with their creepy designs, this app was developed to help people get better with their virtual throwing skills, so you can get good and excellent throws to catch more rare Pokemon. There were at least a few problems with the whole idea of the game though, like the fact that since they have absolutely no association with Niantic or Pokemon, it's very likely that they don't have the same internal mechanic, which means playing this game and others like it might actually be doing more harm to your virtual arm than good. Regardez-moi ça, donc là vous voyez, vous dites ouais, ça a l'air tranquille et tout, non non non. Donc on va choisir la difficulté déjà, c'est euh, voilà. Donc c'est parti. Donc ouais, c'est bien un jeu chinois, ouais. Euh, là c'est un petit temps de charge. Et regardez ça, c'est vraiment horrible. Ah non, mais ça pique les yeux. Genre ça, c'est un ronflex, on dirait un mélange d'un panda, de Mickey Mouse, d'un ronflex et de je sais pas quoi. Non, mais c'est tout sauf un ronflex en fait. Euh. Au moins on l'a capturé donc c'était le niveau 1, on va tester le niveau 4, on sait jamais hein. Euh, par contre les lancers ils sont assez horribles, on peut pas faire tourner un Pokéball, euh, c'est pas fluide, euh... enfin c'est assez dur ce... ce truc. Franchement quand on a Pokémon Go c'est un peu mieux, vous voyez on n'arrive pas à faire tourner un Pokéball et bam, elle va pas loin du tout. Donc je vais faire pas mal de lancers sur ce truc, en plus ça c'est un Pikachu, le, Pik... le Pokémon censé être mignon, il est pas très très mignon là je trouve. Enfin je sais pas ce que vous en pensez mais... Euh... Ouais, on dirait un peu euh, un truc fait à la vite quoi. Euh, bah. Number 4. Mole Cart. Ok, so this one is pretty funny. It's called Mole Cart, which happens to be a near exact copy of Mario Kart Wii. What I mean by near exact copy is basically everything in this game is the exact same down to the courses. And the really only notable thing they changed was the characters. The game has received mostly negative reviews from critics, but surprisingly has received positive reviews from the Apple App Store and Google Play users. Nintendo was obviously not happy about this in order to take down, but Molecart responded by literally just changing some of the textures. Number 3. 3D Cartoon Land Safari Before we even get into this one, I just want to take a moment to appreciate the name of this ripoff, 3D Cartoon Land Safari, which just so happens to be a ripoff of Super Mario 3D Land. This game was an iOS game, which was just Super Mario 3D Land with worse graphics and controls. The game's description said that it was a unique game which requires you to quickly jump over obstacles and collect coins. Oh yes, so very unique. Oh, but don't forget about the angry tortoise that could bite you. That is some scary stuff. For some reason, the game was available for 99 cents on the App Store, and people were actually buying it. It's gone now, but the real question is, how did it even make it to the store in the first place? Uh, no! Leave me alone! Leave me no! Yes, kill you all! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Again! Butt top. Butt muffin. You. Ah. Maybe you get penalized for jumping on so many in a row. Maybe that's why it kept on killing me. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I put. No! Yeah! We beat the level, guys. That, that took a lot of hard work and a few tears. But we did it! Yay! Okay, here we go. Run past these guys. 
Ah! Moving platform. Hi, I like you. You move, which most platforms don't do, so you're special. That Quit popping into existence, Mr. Island. Please? Ah! Jump! Yeah, we made it. Okay, cool. Number two, Xanda Linked Swords. All right, so who needs the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword when you can get Xanda Linked Swords? Now, we play as our fearless orange-capped hero. This game was made for iOS. So once again, Apple, how does this make it past your approval process? This thing isn't even a true ripoff. It's a fraud. It's not a real game. It's just a bunch of stolen ideas mashed into a mobile game. It was selling for $1.99, but from what we can see now, it's actually free. But honestly, it's not even worth the $0.00 and 0 cents it costs. Ripoffs like this are just complete jokes. Ocarina of Tim. <laughs> Major's Mask. From The Legend of Zenda comes Hyrule. <laughs> Welcome to Dreamlands. Garbage. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm already stuck. Okay, no, no, he's going. All right, so, what's, our, what's our quest here? He's obviously... I don't know. He, didn't he say I have to get a sword? Well, that's an old man, so he's supposed to give you the sword. Here's right? an enemy. Can I fight him? Nope. Nope. Huh. Oh, look, my health is just dropping. I just dropped... There's no... Nope. Uh, oh. No, no, no death animation? No hurt or pain motion there? So I just died. So where's your sword? This guy doesn't give you a sword? So right off the bat, we're, we're not ripping off Zelda the right way here. What? what first challenge? Dying? <laughs> that was the thing you passed? Uh, you, oh. Um, you will need the sword again. I didn't get that the sword the first time. That would infer that you had it once already. There's a well, there's, is there's, that a, oh, there's a, is that the sword? Oh, man. It's just hanging out? They needn't have bothered. They That's... need. <laughs> Number one, The Legend of Titan. Okay, where do we even start with this game? How about the fact that before Overwatch was Overwatch, it was called Titan. Given the success of Overwatch, it's not really surprising that people are trying to recreate it. After all, the gaming industry is full of games that follow in the footsteps of one another. The Legend of Titan is a mobile Overwatch with lower resolution. This game was presented publicly at an event that was attended by hundreds of gaming veterans. Now, the game was never meant to be sold or even published, but just because the intent to sell it wasn't there, doesn't make the fact that it's literally an exact ripoff any better. So here is our list of the top 5 video game ripoffs. Did any of these surprise you? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.